This is my welcome drink because I'm an elite gold member of IHG Which is new since the last hotel review That I have done nice that they've got hooks hanging up. So welcome. I am here in Shanghai finally Restrictions have been lifted. As always, let's do a little tour before I mess it up So I've decided to stay here in the Holiday Inn in this particular one because it's near Disneyland! Yay! So guess what my next video is? It's quite easy to get to. So I'm one subway stop from the Disney Resort on line 11 I think? And I chose this hotel because it's, well it's off property and also there is a Marriott somewhere around here that also offers free shuttle to the park that I did kind of toss up about, but because this is sort of near a subway line, it's near the, it starts with a K. The Disney Resort is right on the end of the line. This is one stop there. So, should I want to take the subway tomorrow? I can. I've never taken the subway to Disneyland before I have been. It's been on my channel, so check that out. Because I can't wait to see what's different. That time I literally flew in and flew out for the day. Whereas this one, like I'm in Shanghai, I came in this morning by train and I've taken this away all the way out here. <laughs> it's a far, far distance. But nice that I'm close to the resort tomorrow. So I'm a, there is breakfast included here. So fingers crossed there's something for Westerners. Um, obviously it's Holiday Inn, so it's not as expensive as the Marriott. I really need some heat in here, it's cool. This is the King Room. It's just the first basic one that's listed. I've got it linked in the description box below. So there's really nothing too much to this. It is a seating area, <laughs> air filter because I got one of those at home, some water, yay, that's nice, some chai green tea, smells like somebody has been smoking in here, great big TV in the way, <laughs> but will I really be using this side, does it really matter, oh there's no fridge, that's weird, they literally could have room for one right there, so I guess my schweppes is just going to stay warm, Hair dryer, so nothing, nothing too exciting. <laughs> nice mirror though. <laughs> we change your towels regularly. Should you need any bathroom amenities which are not provided, contact us. Well, there looks, oh there's hand soap I suppose. That's it, there's only hand soap? You've got no amenities, where's the amenities? There's literally none. <laughs> Wash. Wow, that's shocking. <laughs> this is definitely a step down from the last one. Still only two towels provided. I swear these people are on economy when it comes to towels. Body wash, well at least you've got something. Conditioner and shampoo. Okay, so not a whole lot. And just honestly, this is very simple. And then just, yeah, the one room. So, okay, there are slippers, that's nice. Slippers, clock, and giant TV. Some plugs there. I suppose this is sort of the desk area. Really? And yeah, oh good. Outlets here. USB as well. Feels soft enough. So is this because it's close to Disneyland? And it's literally the only reason. There is nothing else out here. For those of you that are going to take the subway like I did, so take exit two take the escalator down because if you take the stairs then you have to walk around the stairs to then be walking in the right direction if you take the escalator down and then go left and just go straight and basically we'll see i think you cross over like two or three streets so it's not close but it's all flat uh, footpaths is a bit but mm, but that's because it's China. They have a return um, shuttle as well, which is also free, but especially now because it's right in the cold of winter. So I don't know if I'm going to make it that long because it's so cold. And as much as I want to commit to it and be like, yeah, I'm going to be 
pictures in it all day. It's gonna be so great. Maybe I won't be. I downloaded the resort app, and that's actually how I bought my ticket. Um, was on the app directly, and I paid with Alipay, and it was all fine. Looking at the app, like for almost two weeks now, to see the wait times, to see if it was even worth coming. Because you know you shouldn't go to Disney on a weekend and this is what I'm doing. It's 6.07. So what do I think of the room? It's very basic. It's cheap. Honestly it does the trick. So my options are, I've got a couple of snacks in my bag. There is some water here so I could just crash. My second thought is yeah, yeah go back on the subway. <sighs> go to Disney Town. Honestly, Cheesecake Factory is worth it. Oh, cheesecake and couldn't finish it. I could literally hang it out the window. So, that's possibly not a silly idea. Because it's only six o'clock and I'm sure those restaurants probably don't close till like nine or something. Because I'm staying here two nights. I decided to do two nights. A strategy is to go in winter because it's so cold and you might not last the whole day. It is gonna be sunny, which honestly does make a difference, but it's the wind. In the morning, I can go and get a coffee at Starbucks to like be warm, because for a basic hotel, for a comfortable night's sleep that has breakfast included and a shuttle, it's quite reasonably priced. I've never stayed in a Holiday Inn Express before. I don't know what the difference is between regular Holiday Inn and an Express version. Certainly wasn't the chicken. Checked out my train of me getting here. I went first class. Then please do so.